Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. So in today's video, we are going to talk about our next topic, which is HTML document structure. So the general structure of an HTML document has two sections. First section is the head section and the other section is the body section. So head section provides the general information about the document. For example, let's say the title for the page on the browser's title bar is included in the head section. Now if we talk about the body section, then the body section contains the text which get displayed on the web page along with other tags and attributes. It includes text, graphics and other HTML elements that provide control on formatting to a page like font, paragraphs, lists and other elements. So let's discuss the basic structure of an HTML document. So the HTML document starts with the HTML tag and ends with the closing HTML tag. Now everything is written within these tags. If the commands are not enclosed in the tags, then a web browser will assume the commands as a text. The head tag is the HTML document header. It lies just below the HTML tag and it contains the information that is important about the web page. But you cannot see it in the browser window. The head contains no text within itself. Now the title tag is to be given within the head tag it contains the title of the document. This title is displayed on the title bar at the top of the browser window and not inside the window itself. The title should be short and include less than 64 characters. The body tag contains the content of the document which get displayed on the web page in your browser window. So in the body tag, we use numbers of formatting elements, images, heading, lists, and hypertext links to enhance the appearance of a web page. So basically there are two categories of HTML elements used in the body tag. So first one is the block level element and second one is the text level element. So a block level element takes up the full width available and by default begins a new line. These elements include tags like paragraph, heading, horizontal rule, centering, all these tags are the block level elements. The text level elements are used to mark up bits of text. It does not start on a new line and only takes up as much width as necessary. These include tags like bold, italics, line break, etc. So this is how the structure of the HTML document looks like. So first we have written HTML. Then we have written head as we discussed earlier. Inside head we have written the title and given the title of the web page. Then I have closed the head tag. Then we have started the body tag. Inside the body tag we have written the text which we want to show on the web page. And here I have used the BR tag. As you know BR is the break line tag which will break the line and will print from the next line. So will be given here, will be printed in the next line. And then I have closed the body tag and then I have closed the HTML tag. Now note, the main functional difference between these two types is that the block level elements do cause line breaks, whereas the text level element do not cause line breaks. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.